Okay. Let's keep going. Wow, I got like flashbang Find a little bit there. Find an opening! <clears throat> Time to explore the uh, new area, the primeval lands. Should be fun. Plateau path. Sonic move now. This kind of reminds me of like Kills of Rise. <laughs> like uh, whenever they get juggled in the air by um, Karna. Shion can do similar things. <coughs> hmm. Hello, Sonnens. It's going. <clears throat> okay. I didn't really do anything today other than. Bash my head into Gaius and Muse, which made me really tired, so I take a nap afterwards. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I didn't do too much. I'm just chilling. Sounds like fun to me? Of course it does to you. But I swear I'll get her soon. Oh, I'll get them soon. I think if I'm just playing a little bit better, I think I'll, I'll, think I'll get them soon. I've been working on them for like three or four weeks now. about you two? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Today, today is like Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah, it's that Saturday today. I was gonna stream yesterday, but I was like so tired. But I hope everybody's having a nice weekend. He's frozen. Oh my god, that did 700 damage. What's up, Kibasa? How are you doing? And I'm dead. Oops. <clears throat> Just woke up and surprisingly playing rested after sleeping 10 hours. Nice. I think if you sleep 10 hours and. If you sleep 10 hours and you feel rested, I th I'd consider that a win for sure. Hello Valentine Eve. Hope you're doing well today. This guy might be harder than the bosses in the game. How's that still going? It's pretty, going pretty well so far, I'm enjoying the game. Probably not my favorite East game, just because I think I prefer the, um, the Arc engine, I think it's what it's called, more, but I mean, it's, it's fun. I enjoy this one as, like, its own game. <laughs> Compared to the four hours I'm used to. Dude, I've been on that grind set recently, too. I've, like, just been sleeping, like, four hours every night. I, like, go to sleep at, like, 12, and I wake up at four, like, every day. It's pretty, it's pretty rough. 
I, I managed to break out of the cycle a little bit last night, which was I, I'm pretty grateful for. Warrior Seal 2. Are we the same person? Maybe. Skill XP game. Let's do Rising Slush. Let's try this out. Oh, that's pretty cool. My sleep schedule recently has been completely horrible. It's been it's been sad. <laughs> Hopefully it gets a little bit better. Especially like on school days, it feels so bad to like wake up super early, I can't go to sleep, and then I feel tired when I need to go to school. <laughs> it's that's actually my uh my uh, purgatory or something, I don't know. Hello hyper curvy. Uh, I've been doing pretty good today. That being said, I take like a lot of naps these days because my sleep schedule is so bad, so it's not too bad. But it's also it's also kind of what's keeping my sleep schedule bad is because I take a nap, but it's okay, I think. I'm still a functioning human being. How do you f slip f fix your sleep schedule, Kavasa? Because the only way I can s fix my sleep schedule is to like... So wh what I do is like I reset my sleep schedule by like staying up and not napping for like... And I, like, I basically just like stay awake, try to stay awake for as long as possible. And I sleep probably like 10 hours or something because I... I'll be like super sleep deprived when I actually go to sleep. And so the day after that, I s sleep like a few hours after the time I slept that day. I mean, the day before. And then my sleep schedule is like okay at after that. <laughs> yeah, that's how I reset my sleep schedule normally. But it's so hard to like stay up sometimes. Hello, Jaden. That guy's the goat. Pull out an all nighter. I think that was kind of screwing me over for years. Like, coffee, probably a lack of sunlight. Hmm. You know, I probably have a lack of sunlight too, to be honest. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's a maybe that's a problem. Yeah, that's fair, Jaden. Uh, I basically am um, in a similar mode. I can't really do that strategy unless I have a lot of free time, which I don't because I have to go to school every day of the week, so... I can't usually pull off my strat in the middle, <laughs> in the middle of the uh, school year. I could try it on the weekend, but... I usually just want to actually use my weekend for other things other than being tired all the time.
Also, I need to like not be on my phone at night. I think that's probably a pretty big problem. I just get like... If I lay in bed for too long, it's inevitable. Because I can only just lay in bed for so long without getting bored. And since I have like insomnia, kind of. I don't know, like sometimes, sometimes I like laying in bed for like an hour or like two, just like doing nothing. So I'm just like, ah, maybe I was looking at my phone. It's like a grave. It's a little bit different. But I know that uh, looking at my phone is not uh, very conducive for sleep, so... This place is really cool looking. A Google setting for well-being or something that you can set times for the phone to auto-lock certain apps. I don't know why I realize I do scroll a lot. You know, that might be a good idea. I should do that for Discord. <laughs> Sometimes, like, someone will message me at, like, 2 a.m. or something, and I'm just like, ah, maybe I'll respond. And I get into like long conversation. Yeah, I think that I think that's like pretty true. Just <laughs> if I if I can do something, I'm way more likely to do it. So these guys think we're dead. Oh, well, I'm dead. Which, to be fair, I do die sometimes. Like my HP hits zero. Dude, I used to like play a lot of 3DS. Like I, I like, I mean, I still do have a 3DS, but like, I used to like have it right next to my bed, and I would just like, I remember I would just like play Pokemon Omega Red, like no Omega Omega Ruby, I think it's called, just like all the time before before bed. And Fire Emblem, like, Awakening. I played that all the time, too. <laughs> Long time no see. What's up, some guy, Yee Yee? Oh, I see. You've lost your memories. Well then, let me introduce myself again. I'm Kalilika. It's a pleasure to meet you. <clears throat> Almost a fully grown adult. Isn't Ado like 19? I like I guess it depends on how you d define fully grown adult, but in most like m most like medieval settings, I feel like 19 would be fully grown adult. Anyway, this definitely is like more of that kind of setting. I'm dying in Iron Hell. I'm sorry. You'll escape soon. Wait, this guy looks so evil. <laughs> Just look at like the look in his eye and the eye patch. The eyebrows. Oh, 
Dr. Wily? It, it kind of does look like him a little bit. Yeah, we can literally swim underwater, so I mean, I mean, breathe underwater. It was in the front pocket of my backpack, threw it forgetting it was in there. Absolutely destroyed both screens. That is uh, a little unlucky. Uh, maybe unfortunate is a better word. Maybe it's the same thing, I don't know. <laughs> the Skies of Arcadia, I've never played that game. But I've been telling myself that I wanted to play that game for like the last 15 years of my life. Maybe I should probably, maybe I should actually do it at some point. I've heard a lot of good things about that game. I guess like our appearance did cause like mass panic because everybody thinks we're a ghost. At least they're not like imprisoning us like uh, Komodo did. Yes. <clears throat> what you do? I didn't destroy my 3DS. So I burned the paint because I put my coffee on top of it. Yeah, that's uh not the smartest move. <laughs> that's it's okay though. Like. I've like destroyed a lot of keyboards by spilling like water or like milk on them, <laughs> so I guess I'm not really one to talk. Hey. I'm an expert spiller. Oh, do you, do you still have? Actually, I, I, guess, I guess he didn't say when it was. I, I, I would be interested to see what it looks like. gone. I was like how Duran doesn't use the um <laughs> He actually he doesn't have any blanket. He's just on the mattress. After much tossing and turning, Adol finally gave up on trying to get to sleep. He's just like me. Like these two these two use their blankets, but this guy just doesn't have one. Might be maybe some discrimination going on here. Maybe I stole his blanket. Actually, I don't know why, but I I have like this thing where I can't sleep if I don't have a blanket. <laughs> At least if I'm in a bed, I, I find it really hard. Closed on me. Oh, this door is a strange variety that can't be unlocked from the inside. Oh, they can lock themselves in.
Good old one leg out advanced ventilation system. Actually, that's pretty smart. I should try that. Intend for mankind to take to the skies. Just like this, on wings of their own creation. Oh, a memory. <clears throat> Oh, if we can move in this one. <clears throat> oh, if you're sending links, we can't see it actually. Um, you can DM me <laughs> and I can show it on the stream. <laughs> pieces. Okay, okay. Let me take a look at this. <laughs> yes, I will shame all your coffee habits for everyone to see. Let's see, let's see. You can see it here. Kind of. <laughs> there you go. That, dude, that actually is kind of crazy. I'm... I'm actually surprised it looks like that. I don't know why. I, don't, I expected it to be look... I expect it to look a little different. I don't know why. But honestly, it's like not that bad, I think. Could be worse, could be worse. So yeah, that's Kivasa's um, coffee, coffee incident. I don't, I don't know, I feel like it helps personalize it, you know? Like, you can, it has a story behind it. I, I think it's, I think it's kind of cool. Oh, he's a... Uh... He actually has wings. So is this guy like related to like Fina and Naria or something? Is he like a god? He definitely doesn't One look day, human. I intend for mankind to take to the skies. Just like this, on wings of their own creation. However, now is not yet that time. The doors must be opened in the proper order. <clears throat> really love Falcom's old designs. Yeah, I think Falcom's like character designs in this era in particular are like super good. Like uh, this is like the trails. Lisa. Trails from Zero, Trails to Azure, and like East Memories of Salsetta. Like this era of Falcom games, I think the character designs are like pretty peak. And the character art. <clears throat>
now. Well, we're technically we're not. Technically, we. This is not. This is like in the past because it's a memory. So we technically haven't met him in the game yet, but... <clears throat> so like, where are we? Is this the tower? I kinda doubt it. friend who's a giant falcon head who swears by a mass of the stun story sorry over this but I don't know why are the details. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of want to play some like the older East games, but I also don't at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. I know they are quite different, but I have no idea if they're like, like how good they are. Interesting. Are you unable to sleep? You're you're you are correct. I am unable to sleep. I'm so happy you're alive, Adolf. Dawn of East C D O S T? Oh my god. I bet that's so I bet that's so me? nice. Lilia <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right. Her uh, her portrait doesn't match her model. I didn't notice that actually. <clears throat> okay, so he is in the tower. I thought the tower would be like a big dungeon. Well, maybe it is, but it looked pretty peaceful. I kind of doubt that's how we lost our memories. I feel like somebody... I, I feel like our memories got like removed by like something else. Or like someone else, I'm pretty sure. That, that's what I'm thinking at least. Yo, what's up Gold Roger? 
Your first experience with East was watching a full Let's Play of Mass of the Sun. Hmm, I see. Good night. Uh, it'll be a while before I get the East Nordics, because that is uh, the most recent game, and I'm still only on the fourth entry. At least I'm going by like remakes and stuff, but. Got to hear you doing good. I'm also doing pretty good. <clears throat> so I wonder if, like, if somebody from here, like Highland, Leaves, do they lose their memories too? I doubt it, right? They're just outsiders? <laughs> the idea you should respect your elders because their age is so outdated. Pretty progressive for a Japanese game. I think natives should also lose their memories because the idea is that they control technological advancement. That's my two cents. I guess that makes sense. I guess I guess if natives didn't lose their memories, then somebody probably would have left and like leaked their tech to the world already. Indubitably. Yeah, I hope they get to East Nordics at some point. Uh, probably not for the uh, foreseeable future, but I'll get there eventually, maybe in like a year or two. <laughs> Leave the town by the north to exit by ourselves. I mean, yeah. If somebody tells us not to go somewhere, we have to go there eventually. Go. Hmm. I don't know why, but like this bother this bedroom like bothers me because like the bed is just in like the middle of the room. I I don't like when like the bed is just like in the middle of the area like this. It, I, it like bothers me for some reason. I don't know why. Do you, do you guys do this? Are you guys okay with this? I, 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 this is not really my style.
Ill prepare for sneak attacks, extremely vulnerable positioning. Like I like I like these kinds of I like I like this bed positioning quite a bit more. Oh, but I'm not an interior designer. I'm like more okay with this. That's kind of cool, I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in like... More, more like fantasy settings, I wouldn't expect there to be like, um, too many bathrooms. But in like modern settings, definitely, uh, I'm wondering where the bathrooms are sometimes. Or like futuristic settings, even. Who are you? I hope its existence didn't cause you any bad luck. It, it did kind of offend me, because all it said was, Here lies Adol Kristen, 18 years old. You couldn't have put, like, anything else on there? Yeah, that's true. I was kind of just referring to like medieval fantasy. Obviously, there's like other types of fantasy. Yes, please have that grave removed. It is insulting to my culture. Watchdog gone. Seems offended. It would be nice if Al could keep his equipment for one game. Honestly, it would have been pretty cool. It, it would be pretty cool if, like, for one of the games, it's just like you don't lose your equipment and then <clears throat> you're, like, fighting, like, the strongest beings known to mankind. And that's how you, it justifies you keeping your equipment. Let's go to the church. We'll have a scholar's wedding and make scholar babies. Guys, uh, having an okay time, maybe. Not a wink.
How crazy would it be if you could like actually like interact with the deity you like pray to? I feel like that'd be such a weird thing. Although I guess that's like probably how some cults work, but Don't patronize me, Nekchin. Wow. Everybody is mean to Duran. Let's leave by the north exit. Darn. The reason I dropped this game really was I felt they talked too much. I don't know if I'm being impatient. Um, but I could definitely see it. But also, I, li I like the dialogue in this game, so I'm like okay with it. I also play like trails. Like I also play like all the trails games. So I'm like, this amount of dialogue is like nothing to me. Yeah, I think that's understandable. Like, com definitely compared to the other games, this this game feels a lot different. I don't know which I, I don't know which East games you played before Cell Setup, but if you're playing like Origin, like Oath, or like the one or two, I can definitely see the adjustment that needs to be made. Chronicles Oath and the, the Pishtim. Yeah, I, I'm actually really excited to play uh, Ark of the Pishtim because it's the same engine as uh, Origin and Oath, so... I, I, really, I really like that particular engine, so... I'm looking forward to playing that game eventually. Although Oath has a, dec Oath has a decent amount of dialogue, in my opinion. You may now bow before me.
is this? Oh, this is like the, um... This is like the quest place. Are you a zombie? I wonder if we're gonna find some zombies then. Later, as enemies. I remember distinctively juggling this game, Zillia 2, Hearts are Grace's F. But it wasn't the best it's call plus college in 2015 slash 16. Yeah. Um, those are <laughs> those are a lot of games. A lot of long games. Longer games, I guess. I, st I, need, I need to play Hearts R and Graces F at some point. I actually haven't played those games. I'm kind of a fake Tales fan. You're a true Tails fan, ignoring Hearts R. Yeah, I guess that's true. I never see anybody talking about Hearts. Or Innocence, for that matter. Although, I've heard the games are really fun. Gameplay-wise. I don't know much about the story. Yeah, I've heard a, uh, I've heard a lot about Grace's story. A lot of people seem to dislike it. And innocence from the people I know who have played it gets a lot of praise. <clears throat> Grace's system with like the A arts and B arts stuff is like really interesting to me. I'm not sure how much I would enjoy it, but obviously I've yet to try. It looks like, <laughs> it looks similar to like, um, the, the engine that like Berseria and Zestiria run on, but like, a lot more fun, <laughs> I guess. Samu is like, every time I talk to Samu about oh, Graces, he's like, I love this game! This is the best game ever! <laughs> Gentle Chemical. Talk to like the golden pickard over there. The European continent. As well as like the um the he's like the protagonist, he has like the sheath stance and the blade stance, right? If I were to play Graces, I would totally play, um, what's her name, Sophie? 
She looks so fun. I'm a I'm a sucker for like monk type characters, so. Heavenly Advisors. to like respect El Deal for actually like listening to the humans and hearing them out from like a human's perspective because I feel like when you're that when you have that much knowledge it'd be pretty hard to do such a thing Yeah, I hear a lot of the, like Tales of Grace of F and like a lot of like I hear like a lot of like stuff I don't hear like I don't often hear about in, like other games like unclean hits and stuff. And everybody knows that um <laughs> everybody knows that nobody knows what accuracy does in graces except for the few people who do know. <laughs> He's basically t identical to Eternia, but a lot more friendly. The longer your combo, the higher chance to have an unclean hit. Hmm. And this is only really relevant for like 70 80 hit combos. So it's kind of just like, um,. You can hit people at high combo thresholds, I guess. Unlike Attorney, where you like can't hit things at all. Yo, what's up, Mr. Stowe? I, we are having a good time. Well, at least I am. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about everybody else, but. I've just been like chatting and also talking to a lot of people in the game, too. Time for some grave robbing. Enemies have their own hit stun resistance and the moves that moves have a stagger extension. Hmm, interesting. So 
So do you have to kind of like, for like every like, like if, if you're doing like solos for example, like for every boss do you have to like, come with like, unique combo routes because enemies have like, different hits and resistors? Hmm, that's pretty cool actually. I guess I can't work over there. You know, I, I've learned... I've learned quite a bit about Grace's F. Even though I've never played the game. Just because I... <laughs> Isamu, like, talks to me about it. And now... I have also find it coming around. Kind of chill. Nothing wrong with not doing runs. They're kind of a commitment, so... I do not blame you at all. Never too late to learn either, Stoven. I mean, I was I was horrible at Symphonia when I started this channel. And, uh, now I'm pretty good, I'd say. So. Did I not activate this earlier? I'm a fool. I feel a little guilty about doing it's your own grave! I'll say it anyways because it's funny. Oh boy. <laughs> it's not grave robbing, it's my grave. And somebody already robbed us. Awesome. I received the mask from... He lied. I'll say it because it's funny.
I love how um the like descriptions for things in Tales games just like are sometimes just like not accurate at all. And then you check like the wiki, and then that sometimes has like inaccurate information. <laughs> Documentation of this game is like in Tales games are like so troll. Oh yeah, all the new words spear cast is so insane. I got to experience that when I did the uh, Colette rain with Mr. Stove. That was a surprisingly fun run. Now, now me and Stoven are in like Tales of the Abyss Hell, and we're just trapped in on Nebulum forever. Don the World Collect with ability and ability plus two. Dude, ha, ha, <clears throat> that sounds really fun, actually. Although I, I, I couldn't figure out how to do how to do such a thing. I, I tried to look for ways to um, get more skills on Colette a while back, but I can never figure out how. Unwell at the moment. You just might die. Yeah, we've been dying a lot. Um, basically, Indignation is insta-cast Mystic Art that we can't dodge, so we've been trying to bypass that to get no damage on it. We'll do it eventually. Isn't that basically force field only? Force field can't block it either. We actually almost beat her, but we like kind of choked because she did something really unexpected near the end. We, we almost did it though. We have to wait until God feels better before we could talk to him. Yes, uh... I'm I'm pretty sure indignation can only be quote unquote dodged with like the nullify skill.
You can move and spark a learned art animation. Hmm. I wonder if that would be possible. Yes, he did. That that solo is so insane, by the way. One one of the best of all time, in my opinion. I'm not completely against the idea. Let's go. Leave it to, Leave me. It to me. Oh yeah, I forgot we have to, we can't have to go through the window. What well, if they lock the window this time? Oh never mind. Imagine if imagine if like, because we escaped last time they locked the window and we're just trapped. Oh my god, Gattuso Overlimit is... I hate that so much. <laughs> like he literally sometimes starts with Overlimit, sometimes he just uses it randomly. It's so... it's so cringe. Also his, um... what is it called? His roar attack is like the worst thing known to mankind. Where is the workshop? Is it this one? No. Actually no, I think it's the all the way to the left. I think it's here. Oh wait, it's that guy. TOV is fun until you try air combo Zagi with Judy and want the pain to end. You don't like tech outs? <laughs> Constant tech outs. Wait, he's from Highland? Oh, maybe we'll know if if he um. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I was curious if he lose who loses memories if he like if he leaves. Oh yeah, Bur even even the burst starts. They can tech. To take out out tech out out of wow that's hard to say. I remember I was um I was fighting a Flynn as Judith and he did that to me as well. That was a that was a goat moment.
Gazok the Super Handyman. I think if every any title has super in front of it, it's just cooler. If you start with a stun, you disable some tech outs. Yeah, I have no idea if that's true or not. I do want to do a Vesperia run someday, but that game is so hard. I need to practice like a ridiculous amount. Actually, I wonder if I should take a look at the uh, weapons and armor here, because I didn't actually do that. Let's see, what have you got? Claymore? I should probably buy some of this stuff. Wow. <laughs> Plus 73 for Durin. I should probably buy this, yeah. So this is like a trails thing where I was like male only and female only equipment. Kind of surprised to see it in East. Yeah, some bosses like aren't are there, aren't on there like Adicor, all the Adicor Bokos fights and Dawn and stuff like that. SP consumption. That sounds pretty good. Although we would need a monkey king's hair. This could be good. I don't have a gold ingot though. Can I make one? I can. Oh, this could be good too. But I don't, I don't have a boar exoskeleton. Let's see. You, you, you'll just be my loot, loot girl, I guess. Arcade mode in Tails? That would be kind of fun. It'll never happen, but. I, I do wish Tails mode. I, I do wish Tails games would have like solo modes or like boss rush modes or something. I think that'd be fun. I don't think any Tails game has done that either. Training mode? Holy, that'd be so nice. Imagine like, imagine training mode in, like Vesperia or something, so you don't have to like practice on the Zophius Knight. Be my wish for a tail scheme. Hmm. Maybe after a rise, I would say staggerable bosses. Oh yeah, older older Falcom games. They they never miss on the OST. How's that run? Uh, it's kind of stalled a little bit recently, but it's not cancelled or anything. This is rare stuff. What is this thing? One more. Oops, I didn't 
do that. I need that bitter potion. I, I animate all over them. This, this is why we play J JRPGs. Yeah, Adol has the same voice actor as uh, Asbel on this game. Chaotic Aura. What's that do? All damage to and from Duran is critical. Okay, I mean... Is that worth it? Maybe. But you can get crits off flash guarding. I don't know. Maybe a little suspicious. He became Alvin. <laughs> it's so true. Splendor critical. Speaking of Splendor, I've been molding so hard. Whenever I lose a run to Muse just backstepping me and stop stopping time, I hate that so much. Exactly. Or, or music does instant overlimit into instant elemental him while I'm like in midair or something, and I just die. That's my favorite. Duran literally did chaotic aura right before he got um, hit by the, the the boar thing. So he ended up taking like a trillion damage. That's a goat moment. Why is this thing so strong? This thing is responsible for like most of my HP loss in the primeval lands. Tiger Flash! Oh my god, crack burst. But he's comboing! Can you please die already? This is the tankiest enemy in the game. Durian.
Not as good as Samunichan. Samunichan is the goat. He taught me everything I know. <laughs> what, was the, what was the first Swallow Fury? Like, was it Luke? I actually don't know. At least it's at least it's cool. It might not always be the best move, but Swallow Fury will always be cool. Only Shadow Fury were like usable in um, like solo setting. It's it's not it's hard to it's hard to put into use. There's one over here, and of course Adol has a harem. That's <clears throat> that's that's why he's an adventurer. How do I get over there? There's like not even land over there. Maybe it's on like a different. Let me open it up if I can. Wait, this literally no land there. Maybe I can fly later. Is like knockback. Yellow is. Oh wait, yeah, uh, have a good one, Mr. Stowe. The yellow is you can use um, FOF changes on incomplete fields, and green is like random effects like it will decrease TP cost and stuff like that, and red is like increased damage. Like a spaceship or something? Like buried in the ground. That's what that's what it looks like to me. What is this? Hmm. I guess I probably can't do anything with it yet. I'm kind of. Uh, can I get hit by light? Oh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I guess that answers my question. Do we need a different character for the lock-on thingies? Yeah, I think it's a uh, Kalilic guy I need. Hold on. Yeah, Durin is getting a lot of heat this run. I mean, I've been kind of a jerk to him in every dialogue option possible, too. No. Leads to the tower now. She literally bit him. <laughs> Poor dude. Even I feel bad for him. <laughs> yeah. She just really doesn't like Durin, I think. Let's see, let's see. Thunderstrike. Power swing, double impact, gravity sphere. Let's go! It's my turn! It's hang, it's time to fight! Hang in there! It's hang, it's hang, it's hang, it's time to fight! I bet she can, like, teleport there or something. Something very convenient. Oh, so that's what that is. I see now. I thought it was like, a, it looked like a buried spaceship to me. I understand now.
Which I guess doesn't make a lot of sense, but... Not everything has to make sense. Yeah, I'm glad that everybody that joins our party is just an efficient, um... Is just a very efficient roller. Um, I appreciate that a lot. So we outside the range now? Oh my god! Well, at least it doesn't kill us. I mean, honestly, ever since Gabalon, I've been looking out for, like, more sci-fi elements in East. Just cause like like oh well, anyways, I'll talk about Galvalon. <laughs> yeah, that guy looked like so like technological and alien that like I've been I've been i I've been suspicious of more sci-fi elements. Wind people are aliens with, or something with, wind, with high tech? Possible. I don't know. Or maybe they're just. That's. Maybe they're just smarter than us. I don't know. Smarter than humans, I should say. No! Oh, wait, this one's still up. What? No way. I wonder who set up these uh, lightning rods as well. Probably El Deal, if I had to guess. So I guess that's the only one that makes sense to have set them up. Oh, that, this one didn't stand for very long. I don't know how this one is standing up, but I'll reset it. Man, the tower is so far away. I think the Black Pearl was like pretty magical in nature, but I'm not sure. I wish I didn't play this cutscene every time I hit it. <laughs> hmm. 
So I do have to wonder if I'm being sent back to like the same the start of the area every time I die. I'm not sure. <laughs> It does kind of feel like I'm in the same areas over and over. Am I? Or maybe I'm missing something about this area. One, Is this the real final boss of Celseta? This area? Seems like it doesn't last long enough. The first time I do it. Okay, so there's one right here. So I should just go for that. Whoa, I got smited! Okay, okay. I understand the assignment now, I think. You know, I don't really play Mega Man games, no. I I prob I kind of want to, but I haven't really uh, found the drive or the time. Like, for example, like Mega Man X looks really fun to me. I was, I was like more of a Sonic guy, personally. First time game for this one. Right here. Okay, I finally made it. I was just being really stupid and I thought it was sending me back to the first area. I, mean, I, thought, I thought it was sending me back to the area I was in rather than the first area, so I kept like doing the same thing over and over and looping. So uh, that was a little. That was not my best moment, but we made it in the end. We finally made it, that's how I'm feeling. What are your favorite uh, Mega Man games? Interesting. Distant land on the other side of the ocean. That's like fa <laughs> favorite child. Okay, maybe like top top three. Maybe that'll help me help uh, easier. There's no way this elevator is gonna work. Zero, three, X4, and X1. Hmm, I see. I, I've really been interested in playing X1, actually. Is 
It looks super cool. Oops, I accidentally skipped the text. Okay, I love the gravity spear was hit for the, has the enemy's attack, but it was actually my attack. This character is kind of cool, actually. What is this thing? Is that a mimic in an East game? I've been playing too much Zillia today, so I keep pressing left bumper to try to, like, do my arts. As if I'm, like, using my art sphere or something. Yeah, perhaps I'll play some- maybe I'll play a Mega Man game in my spare time. Just because I'm pretty sure the games are pretty short. And I haven't played a platform in a long time. Platformers are like the games I love the most despite being just the worst at. I think we're gonna get something to like shrink ourselves. Actually, no, we already have something to shrink ourselves down. I'm just being stupid. Maybe I'll heal up before I go in. Zero collection save assist is a great quality of life. Extra checkpoints and infinite lives without breaking the intended difficulty. Hmm, that does sound pretty nice. Leave it to me. Oops, wrong accessory. Actually, there's a lot of accessory slots in this game, I just noticed. Maybe this game's longer than I thought. Tactician's gloves. What could that be? Uh, is it an accessory? It's not. Oh yeah, I actually have a mouse tool now so I can scroll. Um, I, I got a re new mouse recently, but my old mouse, the mouse wheel was like malfunctioning and I had that mouse for like years. So I have a mouse wheel again and it feels really strange to me. Oh, it's an accessory. Skill finishes restore all SP used for the skill. That sounds pretty helpful, I'm not gonna lie. There isn't enough space. Maybe it's because they were in the corridor. Oh, what's 
way over there. <clears throat> I don't think I can get over there right now, though. Unless I miss something. Because I can't go up in a straight, like, 90 degree angle. You guys should chill out a little bit. Oh, they're over here. Maybe I should explore the right area. I don't know if there's anything over there, but might as well take a look. Maybe this tower will take me forever to navigate. Oh no, this is the start. Let's avoid the enemy here. There's a lot of people over there. Can you still tap the map to like, see if the map will be seen? Yes. I just had to click on it. Which is a little bit awkward because I'm playing on controller, but yeah, it's okay. There's a golden chest over there. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. New new chest type. Oh, it's like a ranged attack. I didn't realize. Oh, it's a mimic. I got so excited. I'm like, there's a gold chest. It must have something really good in it. My disappointment. And you even had to like activate you even have to activate a thing to get to it. They're just trolling you. Gigant hammer. Largest mace. Sounds fun. Okay, this character's kind of fun, though. I, I like the weight behind your attacks. You know, I don't know why the little like the like the little person plus big weapon combination is so popular, but I'm always a fan of it, honestly. Pretty awesome. So can I hit this again? And we'll go keep rotating now. Hopefully. Yes. Okay. Legendary is another game I need to play, although I've heard uh, various things about it. Oh, she like puts away her hammer magic, that's kind of neat.
I'll probably stream Legendi if I ever play it. It'll be an interesting experience. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not just AFK. Although, when I'm healing, it is a good time to go AFK. I do want to see if I can, um... Let's see, does this do anything? There's a button. Oh. I see. That's convenient. Adult life schedules, unlucky. I feel that sometimes. Even though I'm only 22. So we're good. Cool. Uh, is there like a switch somewhere? Like a hint? seeing anything. Oh wait, we're here. I'm blind. Oh no, I was trying to find the switch to get this uh, platform to raise. my rewards from looking around like a maniac. Azure Skill Charm. Quite the name for an accessory. Prevents freezing. Okay. I'm sure that'll be useful at some point. Dude, imagine if it was a mimic. <laughs> I'd be I'd actually mauled. Gelgrarga. <laughs> Fun name. Oh, we have another Tri Ace Enjoyer in the chat, I see. so many hard to get chests, they're actually explosive chests with a random consumable. I see. I need to play Val- I actually need to play Valkyrie Profile 2 at some point. I played Valkyrie Profile 1, like, <laughs> maybe like a decade ago or something, but I never did play 2. I didn't even know what a tri ace was at that time. Finally finished in 2020. Nice. From 2010, or from before 2010, I guess, to 2020. What a journey.
get your shit together and start beating the games in the order you got them. Actually, that's a good idea. I should probably do that with my Steam library. <laughs> I have so many games on Steam that I have never beaten. Like Tales of Zestiria. I should probably beat that game at some point. Or even Baldur's Gate 3. I never beat that game even though I like it a lot. I also have been, been wanting to give Zestiria another chance recently. I was watching um, Zeke and Samu play it on the stream, on their stream. I was like, hey, it doesn't actually look that bad. Because when I was, when I first played Zestiria, I was like, um, I was like in my teens, and I just kind of hated everything. So I mean, like maybe if I give it another chance, so I'll like it. Yeah, the game looks really fun with the uh, dual partner. Mimics are we gonna be here? Another one. We have to check every. We have to check every chest now because they might be mimics. We have to hit them. It's the mimic check. Huh. I wonder what the point of this is. Maybe, maybe there is a point, but I'm not seeing it. I like the game, but I've never been able to finish a playthrough. Is there any like reason for that, or you just like want to play other games or something? One, <laughs> I may have unsolved it. Okay, my bad. It's okay. If I did it once, I could do it again. Maybe. I'm so good at puzzles, actually. I'm so good at puzzles, I can unsolve them. The mark of a true puzzle master. Here we go. I should probably heal myself, huh? Kinda take, I kind of took a beating from those projectile guys. My characters is complaining at me for healing them. It's kind of funny because like it's been so long since I played the Dusteria. <laughs> it's been so long since I played the Dusteria. I forgot why I disliked it in the first place. Which is probably which is the main reason why I wanted to like try it again. Because back when I was younger, I literally just disliked things for no reason. Oh my lord! I, I was kind of a hater.
later. I think I'm gonna go bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Hopefully, I don't get ambushed by somebody. <laughs> Beer beat. Our adventure's only just beginning. Alright, I'm back. No ambush. Is that my door or a cat? That's my door. I don't have a cat. I have two dogs though. What is this thing? This looks like it'll turn into a boss. Which is a lot of saving. That door needs lubrication? Yeah, maybe a little bit. It's fine. What is this thing? The Guardian of the Storm is Krell Amesia. Amesia? I don't know. I can't pronounce things. I'm guessing we had to like... Okay, so we take down one of the pillars and then it takes damage. I see, I see. Makes sense. I'm a really big sucker for like technology bosses. I don't know why. They're just so cool to me. I guess I just like mechas in general. They are just a sci fi enjoyer. Go. That was pretty quick. Quick and simple. Gundam enjoy Horangi san? Hmm. I, I do enjoy Gundam, but I actually like um, 
I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of the super robot genre, personally. Is that Mimic? Dude, imagine you kill a boss and then... The real boss is a Mimic. Like, <laughs> that'd be, that'd be like, the ultimate... That'd be the ultimate troll. It's like a Mimic boss. Actually, I just... Completely... <laughs> didn't read what that said, but it's fine. Oh my god, I'm fast. This kind of reminds me of um, the Zelda wing boots or whatever. I can Naruto run now. Pegasus boots? Yeah, maybe. I met the ones that I uh, hit from uh, four swords. I can't even. I can't save her. Interesting. Oh, what the? He's after me. Oh my god, I'm sliding down. Oh my god. What's going on? <laughs> okay, maybe I should kill these things. They're kind of preventing me from going up. playing Sonic now. Oh, 90 degree angle. Kaiser Potion. What was that? 2000 HP. I see. I didn't check for a mimic, I'm a fool. Alright, time to heal again. <laughs> I'll never not make use of photosynthesis in East games. Okay, boss, are you a fan of the boost games? I'm curious because you're a fan of Sonic. Dirty Sonic fans, so I'll take that as a yes. I'm always happy to have some Sonic enjoyers in the chat, though. Generations and colors a lot. I knew it. There's no way they put a golden chest in the middle of nowhere. You can't fool me.
100% flatness rank is safe if they file unleashed. No, you're a menace. <laughs> I don't know if I could ever do this. Gold Rush. I died, I was on the ground. <laughs> I'm getting spawn camped. This is what I've been wanting to do for like the last 12 years. There you go. That's how it's done. At all is at 1 HP. Time to stand still. I really thought at least one of those chests is gonna be a mimic. Yeah, I'm playing on hard, so the enemies actually do hit hard when they hit. Leave it to me! How come Adol AI is getting slapped so much compared to Karna? Uh, I think it's probably just because Karna's ranged. Adol has to be in their face. Karna's kind of OP in this game, in my opinion. Come on, let's get going. Adol, my favorite plant. I'm, I'm kind of becoming a Kalilika fan though, I can't lie. This guy's not even hiding, he's just out here. This is the worst mimic I've ever seen. I'm sure it gives me gold for using it. Yeah, considering playing as Younger Saga of Blade. I have considered it, I have not gotten around to it. They do look like games I would want to play though. Plus, I've also been told to play them a lot, so. I'll definitely play them eventually. And by eventually, maybe uh, that could mean anywhere between this year to 2020, like 2030, so uh, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe he was hoping you think he was a double bluff? Mm. Seems legit. Oh, we're trapped here. Ouch. And there's a thing. What? He just... I didn't know he had that attack. How do you get both flashes at the same time? You have to do... Uh, you have to do flash guard and then dodge. Like, in quick succession. 
you, I, I found that you can do flash guard into dodge, but you can't do um, flash dodge into flash guard. But you can get the benefits of both, which is pretty useful. I should probably stop dying. Prism Mace. I think you dodge guard with the linear hitboxes? Probably, yeah. Let's see. Party. Back to photosynthesis. <laughs> this reminds me of um, what I, how I fight East 1 and 2. I do one encounter, and then healing. One encounter, healing, get lost. That was my cycle. At least I can't get lost in this game. I always have a map. How is it possible that I can poison this thing though? Like, is, there, is there actually a person in there? That, he kind of just fell onto me and I took all my HP, but yeah, it was okay. It happens. It's okay, it's okay for Adol to get slapped around, I mean... He's the tankiest... He's the tankiest party member. Let's go. Leave it to me. He has a thousand HP. Alright. I wonder if the guy's gonna come back. Yep, there he is. We should've just destroyed him while he was inactive earlier. We're fools. Oh my god, he's, he's transforming. Guardian of the Storm is Krellamicia. I guess we should probably destroy his arms first. Yeah. 
You got no arms. What's he doing? Perfect. I don't get like flash burn through that whole thing. That'd be kind of fun. It looks a little risky though. There you go. Oh, wait, there's another one. It's the core. Now it's a bullet though. I should probably wait for him to stop spinning. Okay, what am I supposed to hit this guy? <laughs> Alright, idea. Oh my god. Idea, it's Karna time. Also, the second phase of this fight was so cool, I kind of wish that was longer. Oh. I got the um, Oath and Fogana PTSD there for a second, I thought he was gonna explode on me and kill me. Yeah, the second phase of that fight was super fun, I wish, I wish it was a little bit longer. Playing Karna and like dodging the lasers and then attacking, oh, so cool. Laser beats knife. Maybe a little bit. I don't, I don't think that one's in the weapon triangle, though. There we go. I made it. looks like a little depressing compared to how we saw in the memories. Maybe the lights are off. I guess it's just nighttime. Well, to be fair, he is kind of like a big deal, so I mean, it's probably good that he has some bodyguards or some kind of defense mechanism.
I think you might be onto something, Kavasa. <laughs> Adol, Kristen. I thank you for sparing me the trouble of hunting you down myself. <laughs> Dark L deal. Now. The Mask of the Sun. You know, I don't actually have that. was interesting. Yeah, it kind of seems like uh, two two people, two uh, personalities, maybe I should say. Because he got stopped by the 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 good L deal. Cutscene. Oh, never mind. It's just an image. Cannon fire. Probably has to be <clears throat> the bad guys, or I don't know. I don't actually know what their organization's called. But... Where did Durin come from? I think he's from the Rome. I think he's an information broker from the Roman Empire. <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm certain about that. I know he's an information broker, I don't know where he's- I don't know exactly where he's from. I don't remember, at least. Oh, I know at this point he's an information broker. Okay. Really, the average information broker goes around beating people up for information. Let's see, let's see. Fast travel. I wonder if I can do something cool. Like over here. Doesn't look like it. I can actually speed up cutscenes. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. By holding B. Every blast looks to have been directed at the roads. It's a warning shots. Yep. Yeah, Roman army, Roman army soldiers probably who got, who were exploring the forest probably, and they got to put the mask put on them.
Also, it's pretty genius to use Roman soldiers for this, or at least soldiers in Roman armor. Because then they can just pin it on them. So smart. You know, I like how we're like these guys aren't hu these guys are way stronger than humans. Like there's they're like there's no way these guys are human or whatever. And then we're just like casually beating them. Oh dude, I <laughs> I knew it. He's so evil. Who are you? <laughs> they do that. No way. Remnos? A little out of place.
Hmm. What is this guy up to? He's been leaking information. Don't worry about the SFX. <clears throat> I'm really interested in, like, um... Remnos as a character. Like, I wonder what his, like, motives are. Like, obviously, I, I don't think he's, like, lying, but he, there's probably more to it. I wonder what the mass of this stun like actually does. I mean, I know we're gonna find out, but like, if the um, if the prototypes of the mass allow them to like mind control people and give them unnatural powers, then like, I, I guess the mass of the stun would just be a stronger version of that. Or maybe it's just completely different. I don't know. The mask is a way to become like a god. Hmm. It's definitely like something like super powerful. Otherwise, no one would care about it. Some stuff about like the so, some stuff like that myths about masks about assigning a godhood. Hmm. Really. These guys. Fine. <clears throat> Damn, these guys weren't even cool enough to get mass.
I don't even know what that is. The uh, Sancho Panza thing is like a book. from Cervantes. Very popular in Spanish, I see. Yeah, I've never, um, <clears throat> I don't know if I've ever read anything Spanish. I really thought I really thought Griselda would turn out to be evil, but she never did. Well she never she hasn't so far at least. Sancho Ponza is one of the main characters. Hmm, I see. That's interesting to know. Random reference perhaps. Too fan servicey to be evil? You might be right. She's too hot. who thinks he's a heroic knight but is actually just delusional in an age past the era of chivalry. Hmm, interesting. Yes. Maybe that's reflected in the way Leo behaves a little bit in this game. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, Mayor Aaron. You're the goat. Join the party. Nice. <clears throat> Why would fast travel be locked to special people? I mean, if you think about it, fast travel is kind of a powerful, kind of a powerful tool. I'm running low on money. in here. Yes. Personal request for Adel and his friends. Three silver ingots. And artifacts. Okay, cool. Do I have silver ingots? No. I just barge into his house. Okay, let me, um... Warp. 
Let me go get some silver ingots real quick. I'm back. <laughs> Imagine if you see a girl run into your town like that. I'd be a little concerned. sell some random stuff. Like all these filthy liquids. I'm sure I probably need some of these, so I'll try to not use all of them. Huge money. Oh, you do spend a bit of time in this town, to be fair. Yeah, I don't know about her rolling farm look does look a little suspicious. Town of Providence. Oh no, that's the Tower of Providence. Oops, I didn't mean to go here actually. But there is actually something I can get here with my uh, new boots. So I might as well check it out. I remember there was a place I couldn't access at the start here. Look at all these mimics. Oh, this one's a mimic too? There to gatekeep me. Yep. Actually, I think I don't think this is the right warp either. I'm not good at finding this place, am I? I finally sell this guy some silver ingots. What? Did I not exchange them? Am I going insane? I guess I only had one? <laughs> maybe I got ironing it instead. Yeah, maybe I'm just stupid. Uh, well, back to Kazman City I go. Or maybe I got silver ore instead. Oops. So how do I get um how do I get silver ingots then? I guess I'd probably go over here. Yeah, okay. 
There we go. I don't know why my, my natural instinct tells me I have to be outside before I can fast travel. Like, I'm pretty sure I can fast travel from inside buildings. Maybe I have it from another game. I don't know which one. I can't think of it right now. Ten thousand gold? <laughs> More. Fierce Beast Claw? Hmm. I'm not a I'm not a very good trader. I failed. That's okay. I, I spent all that effort to get the silver ingots <laughs> and only to not sell them. I should have some. I'm sorry, I did not get that reference. Power Stone the fighting game. I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Let me look it up real quick. To see if I can even, like recognize it at least. Oh, it's a Dreamcast game. There's no way I've ever seen this, yeah. I never owned a Dreamcast. did it. Uh, additional damage underwater, dashing knocks enemies back. That sounds really fun, but this is probably the most useful one. But I will take this because it sounds amusing. Power Stone used to be the all the rage for party fighting games for a while before Melee became more popular. Wow. Yeah, I had no idea that was even a popular game at all. Because <clears throat> by the time I was, I mean, by the time I was had consciousness and I could like, 
uh, melee was already popular, so. Because, like, melee released, like, a few years after I was born. I think. Or, that was around when I was born. Actually, when did melee come out? Okay, I'm actually, I'm actually, uh, Melee is actually, like, I'm, I'm only a few months older than Melee, actually. Never mind. I seem to have pushed my luck a bit too far. Ah, oh, the Tower of Providence into the Sanctuary of Storms. Okay. I'll probably do this quest then, call it good for today. Can you redo failed quests? I do not think so. I'd have to reload a save, but I haven't saved in a while, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, last time I saved was like, before the boss. This is what happens when I don't save enough. Wow. Circular slash. It's okay though, I've only failed one quest. It's not a disaster. This, this uh, extra skill is so cool, actually. Although I got can the animation got cancelled because I killed them too fast. Have I played Mega Man Battle Network? Uh, I have not. I've not really played any Mega Man games, if I'm being completely honest. Another other f that's another famous series I've never played a single game of. Unfortunate. Every stream I get more and more exposed for being a fake gamer. Fun series to stream, probably. There are other short R action RPG games with a unique card based combat. Alright. I'll put it on the list. <laughs> There's a lot of games I want to stream, so. Yeah. Hopefully, I can get through a lot of them by the end of the year. like a school? Like a, a classroom, I should say. <clears throat> I 
Oh, I think that'll probably be the end of my stream for today. I'll probably... <clears throat> I think this is probably a good place to like, stop, and I've been streaming for like three hours, just like normally where I stop anyway, so yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching, and hope you guys all have a good night. Uh, it was a fun stream today. Thank you. I'm still terrible with ending my streams, goddammit. <laughs> uh, good night. <laughs>